niggas lying through their teeth, but I keep it 100 every time that I speak. These niggas lying through their teeth, but I keep it 100 every time that I speak. Let's go. Boy, I'm in the zone right now. Boy, I'm in the zone right now. Same niggas that switched up on me, them the same niggas blowing up my phone right now. But I ain't got time right now. Cause the nigga on the ground right now. With OGs blowing la la la. Why you probably still living at your mama's house? Look. Get your money up before you talk slick Cause I've been getting to this green on some golf shit Flow so sick I could probably call it What's going on gamers? Welcome back to another Madden video Today we are gonna go over my Madden 21 gameplay Final thoughts But if this is the first time ever coming to this channel Drop a like right now, it's free It don't take but a quick second And turn your notification bells on And rock with your boy So First thing we're going to go over is the left stick. A lot of people was asking about the stop and go, about the left stick maneuver. That is totally buffed. After about 10 to 11 matches, me trying out the left stick like I usually would be able to do in Madden 20, the stop and go, the quick cut, that's not on the left stick anymore. Now, if your left stick is real good and you're real gentle, you can make some people, people miss by... Uh, slowly slowing down and then cutting back but if you over push the button on the left stick they turned everything to the right stick if you over push the button you will do like a stutter and a hop so chaining together all your running back mechanics is on the right stick now your spin your juke your dead leg all that is on the right stick your open field running in Madden 21 is way better. It don't seem like it's a compressed feel. It don't seem like you sucked into as many animations. So that is better in Madden 21. Speed is just as important in Madden 21 as it was in the past couple Maddens, except the user. So if you're using a linebacker, a safety, you have to make your adjustments behind you and then base that off of who you're going to use her. So if you use her in and you plan on watching the slot receiver, you have to commit to that. It's no more the slot receiver drop down to the tight end because now the releases with the quarterback, it don't matter what quarterback you got, is super, super fast. I repeat, the release with the quarterback, as soon as the center hikes the ball to the quarterback, he don't have to take a three-step, four-step, five-step. As soon as he catch the ball, he can release it. The vertical routes and stuff that was buffed in the other Maddens, that is no longer. So you have to be smart. Make your adjustments accordingly. Another thing is the zones on defense. Before release, hopefully, my biggest thing is that they buff them a little bit. I don't want them to completely change Madden 21 beta, but it's some things they can do up at about 20% and the game will be great. The user, the zones on defense, uh, the speed threshold because if someone has four to five speed advantage on you and you even give them seven yards of separation eventually they will pass you down the field especially like Tyreek Hills and all that type of stuff which they are supposed to do but if you shading over the top your guy should be able to play the routes a little better so on defense is going to need a little bit of work but other than that Madden is a real promising game. The offensive line blocks way better. The AI is super intelligent this year. More of a football, more of a skill gap. You might be able to put up 40 to 45, but if you have the right kind of defense, the right adjustments, which this year seems like it's going to be a coverage game, dropping seven, dropping eight in coverage, and then trying to find some pressure from your D-line or a cornerback without contains. That's how Madden 21 seems like the direction that they are heading this year. When I play nickel packages, 245, 335, and I come out with a stock blitzing angle on the safety or something like that, that's when I'm able to have better pressure, more speed on the field to match up with anything with three wide receivers or more. It's not going to be the 3-4 or the compressed uh, defenses anymore but if it's anything else that y'all want me to touch on let me know in the comment section overall i give it a 6.5 out of 10 if they buffer some small things don't overdo it but the beta is about 90 percent of what the launch is going to be so that's what you can expect the user toned down offensive line way better screens work way better the escape artist toned down a little bit, but it can still be a little OP. The run game is like Madden 20 was, but you do have better outside containment. So you don't have to worry about them running stretch, 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 stretch. Your AI, as long as you don't click on, which is crazy, if you don't click on 80 
to 90% of the time, the AI is smart enough to make a tackle for you. No crazy juke outs, fake outs, all that type of stuff. But when you get the game, take your time, go into Skill Trainer, learn as much as you can, and be subscribed to this channel. I'm going to give y'all tips. Like I said, right now, the nickel in the big packages is best for three wide receivers or more because the pass rush is toned down. The user pass rush user pass rush might be different but overall three man and four man stock blitzes it don't really get to the quarterback because the offense and the quarterbacks can get rid of the ball super super fast like real life it's all love drop a like and in the comment section let me know what else y'all think i should touch on so then i can read that comment and then i can go over my thoughts on that let's go